seasoned greetings, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in need for comfort and positive energy from a favored fictional character. There will be a lot of NSFWs in this ASMR, but it's still for all ages and it's PG-13. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blankies, pop in your headphones, snack on some pockies, sip on some peppermint tea, and enjoy this ASMR. What a beautiful wedding face sake! If this was mine, I'd take it up a notch, if you know what I mean. Uh, I mean me and Listener have thought about this theme ever since we got together. Just don't ruin it, Modok. Yeah, yeah, happy wedding. Now, where are all the single moms? What's up with you with single moms? Uh, I'll let you get ready. Also, some advice with Listener. If you two ever had a little lad running around, she may not look the same. Are you trying to tell me to leave her? I mean, not really, but after the baby, she may not be attractive anymore. Why would I leave someone who's so perfect on the inside then out? I still love her after the baby. Okay, then. I'm going to chill over at the punch bowl. Ooh. Hello, Mama. Oh, he's gone. Let's see if I can fix this hair. Sure hope listener was doing good. Can't wait to see that dress on her. Why do I feel so nervous? No. Can't smoke on our wedding day. I promise, listener. Only for her. Ah, it looks like your hair is almost done. Are you sure you want the more curry? Hmm. Well, one more curl. Oh, oh, Kanitoa. Oh, hello. You must be Noodle. Hi. <laughs> I'm my best friend. It's so pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you too. <laughs> Listeners told me all about you. You're very pretty. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, sweetie. Sorry, I don't know much Japanese. Oh, it's all right. My English is a little rusty, but I hope you understand. <laughs> oh, listener, you look so beautiful. <laughs> Me and your father are so proud of you, even if he's not here, but I know that you and Stuart would be very happy together. He would have been so proud. <laughs> Is there anything you need, sweetie? Oh, yes, of course. I can get some chocolates for you. There are um, strawberry, uh, or chocolate-covered strawberries. Would you like that? All right. Um, it appears we only have 15 more minutes until you have to walk up to the altar. <laughs> Sweetie, you look like a vampire princess. <laughs> I can really see that you two have in common. Halloween theme. <laughs> Alright, I'll get you some chocolate-covered strawberries. Oh, can you get me some too? Why, well, sure, Noodle. I'll be right back. Okay. Your mom's so nice and pretty too. <laughs> Okay, your hair's all done now. What do you think? So curly. Ah, <laughs> oh, listener, you look great. What are you talking about? I don't want to mess up your face. Because it's already naturally pretty. Yeah, I'm quite jealous. <laughs> Ah, uh, no, no. <laughs> you are more beautiful. Anyway, um, we have about 13 more minutes. Hmm. I guess just enjoy some strawberries and walk over to the altar. <gasps> oh, yeah. I, I forgot my flowers. Yeah. 
I'll be right back. I need to get my flowers. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, the next ten minutes. Me and this one are going to be in the altar. Getting married. Finally. And this is why I have you as my best man, Russell. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe it's happening. After I proposed to her, I thought it would go badly. But it went very well. I'm so happy. <laughs> hey, that's Lucina's mother. I'm gonna go talk to her. See you in a bit, Russell. Hello. Oh, <laughs> hey, S Stuart, right? Yes, it's me. We had dinner the other day, or well, the other week. Sorry about me, you know, um, being a nervous wreck. That's just how I am. Oh, you're completely fine, sweetie. It's fine. I'm just giving listeners some chocolate-covered strawberries. I think she's more nervous. Oh, <laughs> I'm nervous too. I believe it's natural. It is. What is her father? Oh, he's not coming, sadly. Why? A father must come to his own daughter's wedding. Why can't he? Um, me and him are going through a very nasty divorce. Oh, well, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I never walked out. Mm-hmm. And listeners really sad about it. I'm very sorry. That's fine. Hey, hey, don't cry. You can't cry on a wedding. Come on, you don't want listener to see that. <laughs> it's alright. Thank you, Stuart. Aw, oh, no problem, Mom. <laughs> now, excuse me. Um, I'm gonna have to return these to the bride. Don't want you to see her. <laughs> we'll be out in the next few minutes, alright? Alright. Hey, dear. Family's already sitting down. Oh, boy. <clears throat> oh, uh, greetings, Father. Hello, 2D. I guess you're ready for the vows? Uh, yes, I got them all memorized, and I... Yeah, just nervous is all. Oh, don't be, Mr. Port. You'll, you'll do great. Quite a gathering around here, isn't it? Yes, it's f family, friends. A few fans kind of appeared here. Fans? Mm, hopefully it's not over a million. Yeah, it'll be a really huge wedding. We just want it to be very small and simple. I always prefer that, too. Hmm, isn't that supposed to be your friend right there? Huh? The green guy. Oh, oh that must be her mother. I guess we should get started, then. Uh, Murdoch, enough fooling around with the single moms. Stand right here. All right, Noodle, and sweetie, you can go now. Just not too much, Stephanie. <sighs> wow. Wow, she looks hooked in that dress. You're a lucky man, I sight. Thank you, Murdoch. I do feel lucky. Once again, this is your last chance. You can run away. Shh. Gentlemen, please be quiet. Sorry, Pops. Excuse me. Father. Now is the time. Stop. Oh, she looks so beautiful walking up. You did really good, Stephanie. And Noodle. Kinda of sad that her father won't walk up here. She doesn't want him here. Why? Oh, I'm so sorry. You may sit down. Oh, listener. You look so beautiful. Like a gothic princess. <laughs> <laughs> D 
Dearly beloved friends, family, we are all gathered here today to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Stuart Pott, do you take this woman to be your wife, to live together in holy matrimony, to love her, to honour her, to comfort her, and to keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live. I do. Listener Ellen, do you take this man to be your husband, to live together in holy matrimony, to love him, to honour him, to comfort him, and to keep him in sickness and in health? forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live. Now, repeat after me. I, your name, I, Stuart Pott, take you, take you, listener, to be your wife, to be your wife, to have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer and poorer. In sickness and in health. And in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish till death do us part till death do us part Stuart please place the ring on listener's finger and repeat the following Yes sir Listener I give you this ring as a token and pledge for all constant faith and a bidding love. Listener, place the ring on Stuart's finger and repeat the following. By virtue of the authority vested me under the laws of the UK, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Stuart, you may kiss the bride. Come here, beautiful. Mm. Well, congratulations, listener. You are officially Mrs. Paisite Pot. But you know what? I'm proud of you. It appears I'll stop hitting on you for now. <laughs> no, Dad. Oh, I was only joking, Noodle. Mm, okay. Now, will you excuse me? Oh, I got some single moms to dance with. I want to dance too. I hope you and Tootie have fun together. <laughs> Does that mean we're like sister and nuts? <laughs> oh, it'd be so fun. Uh, listener, um, can you come here in the room? Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, it's okay to be a little naughty. Now that we're married now, what do you say we kind of mess around in here? Yeah? <laughs> Don't worry, they won't hear us. But also, got protection too. <laughs> eh? No protection. <laughs> Very well then. Let me toss that. Let's get down to business, Mrs. Port. <laughs> <laughs> 